Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. Isn't YouTube great? I mean, anybody could do this. Well, not anybody. That's why I'm here. And I'm here today to tell you about why he won't propose to you. Three fun loving reasons. Well, okay, maybe they're not fun, but they are reasons. I mean, it's totally frustrating, isn't it? You've been with this guy for a while now and he's the man of your dreams. He even says that he loves you. He says forever every time he talks to you. So why won't he propose to you? Well, you wait for the ring for that get down on one knee evening and you get nothing from him. You're dying for something, anything that says you can get it together. You want to get married? I've actually heard a lot of guys propose in just that matter of fact way. Do you want to tie the knot? Do you want to get hitched? If you do and you want to get married and your man doesn't seem to want to, well, you got some work ahead of you and I'm going to show you how to get past that. Because the kind of convincing you're going to have to come up with isn't going to be nagging or pressuring. It's the kind that you might not even know about. And by the way, if you have tried nagging and pressuring as a technique or a tactic to get what you want from a guy, you probably know by now how it doesn't work. Remember one of my favorite sayings, someone convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. The first thing you got to remember is what marriage will not guarantee you because a lot of women have a kind of misguided understanding of what marriage will do for you. Marriage is not going to mean that you're going to be happy. Being married doesn't mean that he won't think about other women. Being married doesn't mean you won't think about other men. And being married doesn't mean you can't get divorced. Now I'm telling you this and I'm kind of being a huge downer here in the process to illustrate a point. Many women I've coached and even a great many guys actually look at the marriage like they do their high school graduation, like it's an end to something. That's right. Many people think of marriage as being an end to their single life and their single suffering. They think of marriage as being an end to that search for the eternal partner, by the way, who doesn't necessarily exist. They believe that marriage is a goal and an ending, but it's really a start and it's a process that lasts for about as long as you want to stay married. It's not that marriage doesn't work, as many of the people out there say about the whole 50% divorce rate. I'm sure you've heard that, right? Oh, the marriage just doesn't work. It's not that. It's just that we have a mistaken belief that if you're married to the right person, marriage doesn't require work, which is probably the most painful and misguided myth in relationships. So before you make marriage your goal, keep in mind that the job is only just beginning when you say your I do's and put those rings on. So with that wonderful note of optimism, Carlos, okay, let's start those three reasons why he won't propose to you. Why he won't propose to you. Reason number one, desperation is leaving a bitter taste. Well, the fact is that if you want him to marry you more than you seem to want him around to just talk to and have fun with, well, that smacks of need and not love. And men are very, very sensitive to finding true love. So he'll be very sensitive to any of the signals that tell him that you're not really and truly in love with him. You're more in love with the thought of being in a marriage. A man wants to see that you're a vibrant, radiant, sexy creature. An independent woman, yes, who still wants him around and doesn't try to pretend that she can do it all. Yeah, we can kind of see through that one, ladies. Of course we can all live without each other. I've been living without like six billion people out there for quite a long time. That's not the point. The point is when you find the one that you make it work in the right ways. Also ask yourself if you're disproportionately focusing on this whole formality of a proposal. Do you want it a little bit too much? Kind of like uh, a kid who's been refused that lollipop like five times in a row and now he watches any candy with that intense focus of a hungry cat watching the friskies get emptied into the bowl. Which leads me to where is that proposal? Reason number two. Is there something you might be missing right now? A man will gladly marry a woman who appreciates and respects him. But wait, if you just said to yourself, Carlos, I do love him. Stop and think again. A man feels love when a woman appreciates him, when he feels respect from her, which is something you want too, right? And this is not typically how women feel love or express it though, right? Sure, you want respect, but the way you feel it is not typically the same. Look, both sides have a bad way of taking the other one for granted. Guys do it with sex and women often take men for granted with the different ways that a man provides for her and protects her. But you have to be open to the fact that if you're living with him, he's probably providing a great deal for you. And if he isn't, then he's freeloading. Well, kick his butt to the curb, seriously. 
Yeah, I mean, if he's providing money, resources, time, attention, or any number of the things that men do put into a relationship, he only asks that you let him know about it, that you genuinely appreciate it. Because, and this is the kicker, you gotta really pay attention here. When a woman focuses on what she's not getting, <laughs> the proposal, yeah, he feels like none of the other stuff even matters to you. He might also be tackling a, a career or empire building step in his life that he's very focused on. Many women feel slighted when a man prioritizes his life this way, but it's a very real thing for a guy. And I explain a lot about that, by the way, in my Connection Code program. Why he won't propose to you, reason number three, he doesn't have to. Oh, this one's gonna be real fun. This is ugly truth time. You ready? Hang on to your butts. You may have heard the saying, why buy the cow when the milk is free? Well, it's another way of saying that you can't get a man to marry you if you're giving him the sex for free, right? But that's not actually what the saying means. It's not that you shouldn't give him sex before marriage. It means that it's not about manipulating the goodwill between you two just to get what you want. What this saying really means is that you shouldn't act like his wife before you actually are. In other words, there needs to be a benefit to marrying you, right? There should be some things that you're not quite on, that you don't have quite on the table to give him if you're not married to him. After all, if that's your goal, you don't give it up for nothing. I mean, you don't go to work for free and then wait around for them to hand you a paycheck, do you? No. If you had, you have an implied and legal obligation to go into work and get paid, either by the hour or with a salary. So why would you give everything away for free in a relationship? If your boss stopped paying you, would you keep showing up for work day after day? I don't think so. All that stuff you hear about unconditional love is bunk. All loving relationships have a perfectly acceptable implied arrangement in them. It goes like this. We will love each other, and if one of us is not getting what we need, we've got a right to ask for it. Or leave to find it in a relationship that's healthy if they won't give it to us. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a part of you that's thinking that holding back from a relationship is somehow wrong, but it's not. Human beings have a need and a right to reciprocation in their relationship. You do give to get, whether you want to admit it or not. And this often leads us to having guilty feelings about asking for your needs when they're not being met in the relationship. You might wonder if you're being selfish or bad in some way. Let me reassure you that getting your needs met, unless they're unreasonable or toxic in some way, getting your needs met is a necessary part of a healthy relationship. Remember, if you aren't getting the love, the respect, the intimacy, the communication, the sex, the happiness, or even the proposal, whatever it is you need, you, you, are the only one who can ask for it. Remember, nobody walks away from a person they feel is so valuable that they can't live without them. Have you made yourself that woman to him? Look, you gotta be irresistible to him. In fact, desire only comes in one flavor, irresistible desire. If you wanna learn more about how to be irresistibly desired by your man, go click the link below this video. That's right, down there. But also make sure you like the video and subscribe so you keep getting this great stuff. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I love to answer your questions. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com with those three reasons why he hasn't gotten down on one knee for you yet. Now you know what to do. And I'll be talking again next time. And as always, live and love with passion.